been a long time. What? Three, four days since your last visit? This will only take a minute of your time. There are no murder reports you to study. No case books you haven't already read, old boy. I'm not here for research. I believe I'm onto something. Oh, not again. This time I'm certain of it. Really? Just like last month, when you were convinced that the French ambassador had embezzled £300,000 from the Bank of England. I was close. It was the Russian ambassador. Oh, Holmes, please. I don't have time for any more of your playpen crimes. Just have a quick look at these. A suicide? A carriage accident. I suspect foul play. Why? The two incidents are completely unrelated. Wrong. Both men graduated from the same university in 1809. Coincidence. Neither of their deaths fit their personalities. According to his obituary, Bobster was a happy man, content with his life, his career, his family. Why would he commit suicide? He didn't even leave a note. And Reverend Nesbitt is described by friends as warm, loving, peaceful. And yet the carriage driver insists that he was crazed, insane, in a state of panic when he ran out into the street. Holmes. A mere fluctuation of character is hardly sufficient evidence to begin an investigation. And if you want my advice, you'll keep your nose out of the Times and into your school books. I appreciate your time, Mr. Lestrade. I suggest you hold on to these. If I were a detective sergeant trapped in this room all day and up to my neck in boring paperwork, I would be doing everything in my power to seek out that one case, that one investigation that could promote me to inspector. Good day, Holmes.